Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, compound uh, shape that consists of uh, blue isosceles uh, triangle ABC and uh, this uh, purple uh, trapezoid BEDC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 100 centimeter square and this uh, side length uh, DE is uh, 8 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, AC equal to this side length uh, BC. And furthermore, this is a right triangle as well since this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, these angles are going to be 45 degrees each. And this angle is 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and find out the side lengths of this blue triangle ABC. And we know that these uh, two side lengths uh, are equal. Let me call this side length uh, X. Then this side length is going to be X uh, as well. And now let's focus on the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, in this triangle, uh, this side length uh, is a base and this side length is a uh, height. And the area of this triangle is 100 uh, centimeter square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area of the triangle is 100 equals to 1 over 2 times x times x. And let's go ahead and simplify. So 100 equals to x square divided by 2. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So we can see that this uh, 2 and 2 is uh, gone. So therefore, uh, x squared turns out to be 200. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both sides. So therefore, uh, x uh, turns out to be equal to. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square root of 200 on the right hand side. And I have copied it down over here. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 10. Uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2. So thus our uh, these uh, side lengths uh, turn out to be 10 times uh, square root of 2. Now let's go ahead and calculate this side length uh, AB now. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest uh, leg as uh, side C. I'm going to call uh, this A and this uh, side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, 10 times the uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus B is uh, 10 times the uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square as well equal to C square. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square. I'm uh, going to take a uh, square root on both uh, sides. So we can see that C turns out to be positive 20 centimeter. So thus our uh, this uh, AB length uh, turns out to be 20 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, purple trapezoid BEDC as you can see over here. And we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple uh, trapezoid. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height uh, h times uh, a plus b divided by 2. And in our case, uh, this side uh, is our uh, height h. And these are our bases uh, a and b of this uh, purple trapezoid. And we know that a equals to 8 and b equals to 10 times uh, square root of 2. And now our only task is uh, to calculate uh, the height uh, h. However, we are going to take a different uh, approach 
to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, trapezoid. So therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box uh, and I extended uh, this uh, line AD all the way to this uh, point F and likewise I have extended uh, this line uh, BE all the way to F uh, as well. As a result we got this uh, triangle uh, EDF. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABF and we can see this uh, right uh, triangle. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is uh, 45 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees as well since the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. And now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, these uh, two angles are uh, 45 degrees. So therefore uh, this side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this side length uh, BF. This side length is 20. So this side length is going to be 20 centimeter as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABF. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula is equal to a half times a base times a height. And in our case our base is 20 and our height is 20 centimeter as well. So therefore the area of this triangle ABF is going to be a half times 20 and then times 20 and that turns out to be 200. So thus the area of this uh, big uh, triangle ABF uh, turns out to be a 200 uh, centimeter square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EDF. And we can see in this triangle this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is uh, 45 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. And if this side length is uh, 8, this side length has got to be 8 uh, as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EDF. And here's our area of a triangle formula once again. In our case uh, our base is 8 and our height is 8 as well. So therefore the area of this triangle EDF is going to be a half times 8 times 8 and this uh, turns out to be equal to 32. So thus the area of this uh, triangle EDF turns out to be 32. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, purple uh, trapezoid area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, bigger triangle ABF minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, EDF and minus the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC and we can see the area of this uh, bigger triangle ABF is uh, 200, area of this uh, triangle EDF is 32 and the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC is uh, 100. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got uh, 200 minus uh, 32 minus uh, 100 and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 68 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, purple trapezoid turns out to be 68 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.